Good afternoon, everybody. This is Nate over at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Got another video for you today. It's been a little bit since you've probably seen my face, but I'm glad you get to see it again. This is a brand new 2025 Grand Design Solitude 310 GK. Stats are going to pop up at the beginning of the screen. We're going to get you on the outside, show you some features. Get you on the inside, show you some features. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's get going. So this one just came in. Yes, it's going to go through a detail. It's going to go through wash, but there's the front cap that we're looking at. We got those nice lights up above. Got some pretty sweet docking lights here. And then we don't have the battery on board yet. So we just got the old trusty jump box out here to get some power, get some lights in there for you guys. So you're going to have your battery disconnect, your uh, spot for your battery, your solar disconnect, and then off to the right side here, you can use that for storage if you would like to. around so you're gonna notice right away this is well this has three slides but you're gonna notice kind of something cool you got some nice blue lights sitting down here something a little bit different for the campsite set yourself apart but massive amount of pass-through storage um, you could practically crawl through here maybe I'll crawl through the other side if you guys are lucky who knows um, you have your easy reel for your power cord just a flip of a button will keep that power cord nice and uh, not conjumbled um, coming on, on over to the right, you're going to have your uh, city water connections, your filters, bla black tank, gray tank, everything that you're going to need here to get this unit winterized taken care of. Furnace and hot water heater moving on down, 50 amp service plug-in. Slide number one, frameless tinted windows. Coming around to the back, just kind of getting a good overview of this. Nice big back window. A lot of natural light's gonna be coming through this unit. We got our hitch from the factory here. 3,000 pounds gross trailer weight. Tongue weight, 300 pounds. Ladder to get up on your roof, clean that bad boy off. Spot for your Furion backup camera. If you do want to mount a backup camera to this, you can definitely do that. Kind of a side profile. Yes, this does have an awning, but I don't want to destroy another uh, unit in the process. Um, so this is slide number three, two slides on that side, one slide on this side. Squeezing on through. Nice marine grade uh, Rockford Fosgate sound system. So if you want to bump some tunes at the campsite, blast everybody out of your radius so you can have a nice peaceful, quiet day, definitely do that. Just kidding, don't do that. Grand Design Best Towable Limited Warranty. And then just kind of coming on down here, you're going to have some LED strips that go down below. We're going to have our electronic leveling system down here as well. This is a double axle. We're going to have our propane quick connect right here. Other side of the pass through storage, you're also going to have your road vac. So if you want to do some vacuuming on the inside, that's where that's going to go. And then just kind of, just kind of going through it. Why not? Quit looking at my butt, you guys. I mean, if the kids want to hang out down here, they can definitely do that. I mean, I got a lot of room down here. Um, if I've been misbehaving or if someone's been misbehaving, they can kind of hang out down here. There's some satellite prep in here, GFCI outlets. So if I want to have something down here while I've been, uh, while I'm being punished, I'm going to sneak that in my back pocket, maybe play a game, charge my phone, who knows? Double propane tanks, you got two 20 pound propane tanks which are filled upon delivery. Jumping onto the inside here, you're gonna have your nice solid steps. You're gonna have your nice uh, railing here. It says thump here, but I'm in a punching mood today. This is fiberglass, this is durable. This will get the job done. WeatherTech Arctic insulation package for four seasons. Here's awning number two. You have two awnings on this one. Again, I don't want to destroy the momentum in front of me, but let's jump on onto the inside. Right as you walk in, there's that fire extinguisher that I always talk about. So just a little bit of the Arctic insulation package, some of the grand design warranties. I'll have you hover over uh, both of these here, the most important items, I think. Definitely feel free to pause the video, get yourself a little bit more information. Perfect. 
So we got our nice recliners here and you can see that I even got my bed set up going here as well. So this unit does a very good job of privacy. So if you know two, uh, two kids or two adults want to sleep there, adults have their bedroom. No one's going to be making a fuss or a racket or anything like that. <sighs> Pretty comfortable for a bed setup. Not bad. This is actually my first time uh, laying on one of these and I think it gets the job done. So I'm 6'1", so these can probably be pushed back a little bit, but you can see that my feet are rarely, or not, not really, rarely, rarely, speech impediment. You can see my feet aren't hanging off the edge. Get some of that out of there. I'll step out of the way here. All of these storage compartments are gonna be linked together. It's gonna be one large uh, storage. So we'll just open those up there. And then you got some power outlets. It says slide here, so I'm trying to slide it. There we go. So a little bit of storage behind there with some chargers. Air conditioner up above my head. Chargers on the other side of the sliding um, little armrest there. And then you do have some more GFI out or GFCI outlets down below there. This is a power TV, so this can electronically come down. So by doing this, goes down a little bit slow, but out of sight, out of mind. So you can actually use the countertop for some storage. Perfect. So now that the TV's down, you got a little bit more counter space to play with. You got your radio uh, settings up above, another charger up there. And then some more cabinet space up here. Nice electronic fireplace down below. Jumping on into the kitchen. I'm gonna open up some stuff here. Got a nice slide out for your spice rack. You know, somebody made a comment on one of my videos that I didn't mention the spice rack. That's absolutely crazy. Out of a $100,000 unit that I showed, someone mentioned the spice rack, but here's your spice rack. Nice spot, or nice spot for the microwave. Nice large microwave. Four burner gas cooktop. Lots of slide outs for our drawers here. We get the idea. Nice large oven. Double garbage can. And then we're only, I'm, these drawers are the same, so for the sake of video and time, I'm only gonna open up the one, but you got a lot of storage in the kitchen here. Solitude's in a class of its own. It's a very well put together unit. And then you're gonna have your large center island here with uh, you know, some of your drying racks, cutting boards, accessories, things like that. Cup wash like you see at a bar, so if you wanna rinse out your cup, definitely do that. Some more GFCI outlets down here as well, here and here. And then fun fact, just because I'm looking at a nice big sticker here, this unit is dishwasher prepped. So if you don't wanna wash your dishes, you wanna get a dishwasher in here, slap that bad boy in here. Nice big fridge freezer combo. Large pantry with an auto light. If you saw that in the video, this will automatically come on when you open the door. We'll have some more storage and then you do have your owner's manual up there. So I'm gonna take this out because you actually have your Travelfy Wi-Fi. So you can outfit this unit with Wi-Fi. Just scan that QR code. You do have to pay for it. It doesn't come standard with the unit. You have to set it up yourself, but it's just nice that it's already wired up for it. A little bit more storage. That's different. I've never seen that before, so that's kind of cool. You want to hide your phone from your girlfriend or your wife? Charge it. Do that. Coming on up. 
I really like what they did with the shower in this one. So you got that uh, multi-jet shower function, nice tall shower, porcelain toilet, plenty of space for uh, toothpaste, makeup, hairspray, deodorant, body spray, you name it, you got it. Decent storage for the medicine cabinet. You got some uh, margarita mix, mixing cups in here. Just kidding, you don't have that. Don't use them for that in the bathroom. Well, I guess you could, but don't. And then nice deep shower. You can see I got room to walk around in. I mean, I'm 6'1". I got plenty of room to work with here. You know, if you want to sit down, enjoy the, 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 the jet spraying right at your face, you can definitely do that. Probably be a little bit unpleasant, but if you want to relax and that's what you want to do, definitely do that. Coming into the bedroom, immediately it says slide here, so I'm, I'm gonna pull that. So definitely hide some money from your family in here. Nice TCL TV. AC number two, nice large king size bed with plenty of storage down below. I don't know if we'll be able to see, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to see those. Exit windows in here as well. And then you have nice closed storage, shoe, shoe storage. Gosh, I'm having so many speech impediments in this video, as well as your washer dryer prep off to the right. But make no mistake, this unit has a lot of charging capability for your devices. Nice large uh, closet space here. Again, shoes, clothes, tuxedos, you name it. And then you got a laundry hamper in there too. So just jumping back out here. One final overview of the solitude. Actually, I want to get this couch up for us, but let's see. just so you can see what we're working with. Woo. So then you do have your couch if you don't want to use the bed. And again, someone could probably sleep on this just fine too. Again, 6'1", got plenty of room to work with. But I might just buy this for myself, who knows? That's gonna be it for this video. My name's Nate over at Bullion RV. All of my contact information is gonna be in the description box below. If you wanna set up an appointment with me to view this unit, call me, text me, email me. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next one.